was coming behind the sins of those of us who have broken the law of God. Christ was willing to die for our sins according to the scriptures and to be buried and to be raised again the third day according to the scriptures. Christ died for our sins. And yes, you have a saviour, unless you have a substitute, unless you have a sin bearer, unless you have a sacrifice, you cannot appear before a holy God. The only sacrifice that I can bring to an infinitely holy God is the infinite perfections of his beloved Son, the Lamb of God, that takes away the sin of the world. That's the only way I can appear before this infinitely holy God. My works are not enough. My fasting is not enough. My gifts to the poor are not enough. My works of charity, my shahada, my shema, shema is not enough for God. My fasting is not enough. My prayers are not enough. My sali is not enough. But the sacrifice, the blood of Jesus Christ alone is enough. And that's the only plea that any of us can bring before God. Plead the blood that Jesus Christ shed from his perfect humanity. That alone covers sin. That alone atones for sin. And it was in such agony that our Lord and Saviour was willing to go down into death and then on the third day rise again from the dead so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. And we are assured that Jesus Christ is alive. I tried calling on different prophets, but they did not save me. I tried calling on the Virgin Mary, she didn't save me. She needed a saviour when she said, my spirit has rejoiced in God my saviour, because Jesus Christ was her saviour. No Pope saved me from my sin, no priest forgave my sin, but our great High Priest, Jesus Christ, who shed his own blood and entered into heaven, not with the blood of animals, but with his own blood, wants to appear in the presence of God for us, for me. And that is where my faith rests, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have been brought to rest. There is no peace, says my God, unto the wicked. There's no peace, says my God, unto the wicked. The wicked are like the troubled sea that casts up mire and dirt. There's no peace, says my God, to the wicked. But there's peace. There's peace for those who are in Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace is in Jesus Christ. He made peace by shedding his blood. Jesus Christ is the peace offering of God. He has made peace. We don't need to say peace be upon him because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And that's what he came into the world to do, to give you peace with God. That you might no longer be at war with God, but that you might be at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only way that you can have peace with God, not through having some dead religion, but having a living faith in a living Saviour who conquered death. And that alone Jesus Christ did. He alone conquered death. If he had never become man, he would never have conquered death. That's why he had to become in all points like we are, yet without sin, that he might conquer death, that he might rise from the dead, that he might triumph over death. And he's alive forevermore. Amen. And he has, Jesus Christ has, the keys of hell and of death. Yeah. The devil doesn't have the keys. Jesus, the Pope doesn't have the keys, but Jesus Christ has the keys of hell and of death. That's why he said to John in the revelation that he gave him on the Isle of Patmos, the Greek island, he said, I am he that lives and was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. And when we called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he saved us. He translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear Son. 
He saved us with an everlasting salvation. When God sends His Holy Spirit into a man's heart to cry, Abba, Father, that man is saved. That man is no longer condemned. He's saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the blood that was shed on the cross. That alone atones for sin. Not the blood of, on Jewish altars slain. Not the blood of animals, or the blood of bulls, or the blood of cows, or the blood of lambs. No, the blood of Jesus Christ. That is what cleanses us from all sin. And the blood of Jesus Christ will never lose its power. The blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel, after he had been murdered, his blood cried to God from the ground. That shows that man is still alive. His blood testifies that Abel was alive even after he'd been murdered. His blood cried to God from the ground. For the blood of Jesus Christ, it cries from heaven. Pardon, mercy, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And Christ Jesus, he paid the penalty in full. If he had never become man, then death would have never been destroyed. But because he was made in all points like we are, yet without sin, he overcame the devil, he overcame death, and he has risen far above all worlds. God from God, light from light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one substance with the Father by whom all things are made. And Jesus Christ for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And he was incarnate, he was made flesh by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary. And he was made in all points like as we are, yet without sin, so that he might take away our sins. And he might pardon us for the greatest of sin. It's not the number of sins you've committed that makes you a sinner. It's the nature of sin in every man's heart. That's what separates people from God. The nature of sin. However many sins, or however many, or however few sins you commit, you have a nature of sin. And only Jesus Christ, by His Holy Spirit, can impart to you a new nature, a new birth, being born from above of the eternal breath of God, of the eternal Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is the breath of God. That is why Jesus Christ, after he rose from the dead, he breathed on his disciples and he said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. And then on the day of Pentecost, they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they went everywhere preaching the gospel. They went everywhere because the Holy Ghost was with them. And the Holy Ghost will never leave us nor forsake us. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, that is the one who Jesus promised. He said, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. He will lead you into all truth. And the Holy Spirit has come. The Holy Spirit has illuminated the Word of God to us. And only the Holy Spirit can give you the right interpretation of the Holy Bible because He is the breath of the Almighty by whom all Scripture was breathed. And so God the breath is necessary in your life and in my life if you would be saved from sin. You need the breath of the Almighty in order to quicken your mortal body. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. But because Christ has given us of His Holy Spirit, it's that spiritual man that has been brought alive. It is the spiritual man that will go up to be with Jesus Christ. The first man is of the earth, earthy. And the second man, Jesus Christ, is the Lord from heaven. And as we are born, the image of the earthy so we must also bear the image of the heavenly that's why you must be born again you must be born of incorruptible seed by the word of god that lives and abides forever and who spoke those words 
the eyewitness of our Lord Jesus Christ, Simon Peter. He said, unless a man be born of incorruptible seed by the word of God, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And so we need the Spirit of God. We need the breath of the Almighty in order that we might go to heaven. If you're spiritually dead, you cannot go to heaven. You can't inherit. Corruption cannot inherit incorruption. The flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again. And that's why Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to give you the new birth. You know go heaven. The Ruach. The Ruach of God is eternal, is eternal. And after man had sinned against God, Adam sinned. That's why death came. He forfeited eternal life. But Jesus Christ, the last Adam, the Word of God that said, Kun fire kun, he came from heaven. He came into the world of sin and he breathed upon the disciples and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with all the fullness of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. And without Him, without Him, without Jesus Christ, you cannot know God. You've got a God of your own making. And many of you people say in your religion that God is too remote and therefore you can never know Him. No, my friend. In Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, God has visited us with His salvation. In Jesus Christ, we have eternal life restored to us. Where Adam forfeited eternal life, Adam and Eve, Jesus Christ regained eternal life. And that is why Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and they don't listen to the voice of strangers. I know my sheep. He is speaking as the good shepherd. He says, I am the good shepherd and I give my life for the sheep. And my sh I know my sheep. And my sheep, my followers, know me. And I give them eternal life. Jesus Christ gives eternal life. And the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. God doesn't change his mind. When he gives the Holy Spirit, he doesn't take him back again. And so Jesus Christ has promised us the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach of God, the Ruach of the Spirit, the breath of God. And by the breath of the Almighty were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth, by the word and by the breath and by the Almighty. No three gods, one God. Father, Word, and breath, one God. And you are person, your Word, and your breath. Person, Word, and breath, three in one. And God is three in one. Not three yeah, gods. Father, Father, Word and Breath. That is God. And God has spoken in these last days. God has spoken to us by His Son. By His Son, whom He has made heir of all things. By whom also He made the world. And Jesus Christ is the brightness of the Father's glory and the express image of his person. Jesus Christ is the express character of the Almighty in human form. There is no salvation outside Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. When Mohammedans pray, they say, Sirat al When they pray, they say, Allah, show us the way. They're not praying to the right God. You are, you are the disciples. God pray to the You pray to How can we know the way? Philip asked that question. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way. I am the Sirat al I am the truth. 
I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, Jesus says. It's only through Jesus Christ that you can be reconciled to God. All who are dead in trespasses and sins, you need to be reconciled to God. And we have a reconciliation through the blood of Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus Christ came into this world as man. And as one being in the hypostatic union, meaning he was fully God and fully man. Fully God because he was reconciling God to man. And he was fully man because he was reconciling man to God. So in Jesus Christ, we have the God man. Fully God, fully man. Okay, wait, how do you know how God looks like? You see, you're in the flesh. You're in the flesh. Why is Jesus the only person who know how he looks like? Hey, she's like, Jesus Christ. She's in the flesh. She looks a picture of God. Why is Jesus the only person where he know like he looks like? Because he's... You want to answer? Yeah, answer. He is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, made higher than the heavens. And that's why he came. That's why he came. He came to reveal God to us. But then there was Muhammad after But you can know Muhammad. Forget about Muhammad. You don't need Muhammad. Jesus said, Jesus Christ said, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. And he said, have the keys of hell and of death because Jesus Christ is the only one who can unlock the gates of heaven to you because he alone has atoned for our sin the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ alone cleanses from our sin
unto death, even the death of the cross. He has destroyed. <laughs> He has the keys of hell and of death. Jesus Christ alone has power to deliver you from death, to deliver you from your sin. And I know that sin has a consequences. You know what sin's no, penalty no, no. is? The penalty for sin, it, God it. said, is death. So oh, death came oh, on the hips of because of sin. Jesus Christ came to put away death. And Jesus Christ He came to conquer death. Death has no more sting. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, where is thy sting? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive. When I called upon him, he saved me. When I called upon Muhammad, nothing has happened. But when I called upon the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, he saved me. He gave my sin. He gave me eternal life. He gave me Jesus was seen by the Father, that he was him. Jesus I am my Father, are one, not two gods. I am my Father, are one, Ahad, Ahad. One, not Yaqeen, not Wahed, not Tawid. I am a real Jesus. Ahad, pure Jesus. One, a magnificent unity. Posture, hello, hello. God is one. Father, Word, and Breath, Holy Spirit. God is one God. And you can only come to this God through Jesus Christ. The only way you can approach God is through His beloved and eternal Son, Jesus Christ. And if you believe in Jesus, and you believe in choppy choppy, no, no choppy choppy. Jesus Christ is the God man. We mean believe in Jesus? We have choppy choppy. You don't believe in Jesus. You know chop it chop it. I believe in Jesus. God, my Jesus. And because we are chop it God, you know chop it chop it. God, to man. Wrong color. Yes. That is the highest standard. He is one God. Hello. He is fully God and fully man. So that he brings God and man together again. Man and God are separated because of man's sin. But Jesus Christ has brought us back to the Father who we love. Our loving Heavenly Father and our loving Heavenly Father does not desire the death of any of you who are sinners. We have to die. We have to die. Forgiven your sin. No, no, no. no. Nobody have my sin. Nobody. Jesus Christ died and rose again. Jesus Christ, the reason why Jesus Christ died was that he might conquer death. Yes, he died. Oh yes, he died. He never died. The Roman, the Roman governor of Judea put up upon the cross of Jesus Christ. Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. And he wrote it in Hebrew and in Greek. Are you drinking cow? Everybody in the room. Hello, Papa. Would that see that the man that was crucified there was Jesus of Nazareth, not somebody else? Jesus Christ. It was Jesus of Nazareth, and that is a historical record of the Roman governor of Judea. Pontius Pilate. Why is wrong we have with a coin Jesus. of Pontius Hello. Pilate Hello. recently discovered in the Middle East. Pontius Pilate was the governor of Rome at the time when Jesus Christ was crucified. Okay. No. Yes, he was. No, no, no. And, no. Good night. and you are talking exactly. against him. You are speaking against history. Can God, God You're speaking die? against Ask the, the testimony that God has given concerning his son. And woe betide those who add to the word of God or take away from it.
Why are you angry? Jesus Christ came. He came in love. But when he comes again, when Jesus Christ comes again, he is coming to judge the world in righteousness. And he is coming again in power and in glory to judge the living and the dead. And those of you who are not saved, have your heart in Dajjal believer, do you believe in Dajjal? 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 The 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 There's no purgatory. There's no second chances. You people who have been bad Muslims, there's no second chance. You won't go to hell and come out of hell. No, the rich man, Jesus said, he was in hell and he was in hell forever. And Abraham said, you cannot come out of hell and go to heaven. And that is why, once you have died, you're in a fixed state. You can never come out of it. Shut up! And that is why it is so important that you are saved from sin. That you are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ from your sin. No blood. That is why you need to be forgiven. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sin. Only God can forgive sin. And Jesus Christ said to a paralytic man, your sins are forgiven you. Rise, take up your bed and walk. He had authority not only to heal the body, but first of all, to forgive sins. And you need your sins forgiven. Everyone is a sinner. God tells us all have sinned. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no but one. The only one who ever came into this world without sin. And that is why the penalty for sin has been paid for us by the Lord Jesus Christ, and the power of sin in our lives has been broken. So we won't go out and say, oh, I want to sin some more. It's because we are holy, we are separated from the world, the flesh, and the devil. I are made holy, and we are called to be holy, as Jesus Christ is holy. So we are called to be holy, and that's what the word saying means. It means holy one. And all I believe. I believe in the Buddha. Again. I believe holy in the teachings of the Buddha. Yeah. That's what I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are the saints. Oh, hello. They are the ones hello, hello. who have received mercy. Am I, am I, and you will only know mercy from God. Am I, am I beyond the Buddha? Buddha? Without shedding of blood, there's no remission. Jesus shed his own blood. It's no not blood, the blood, no blood of a sinner that can take away the sins of a sinner. No, it's the blood of Jesus Christ who was without sin. His blood alone can take away your sin. No other blood, no other name. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby you must be saved. Only the name of Jesus Christ. Now my time is gone. No, I'm going back to worship no, God no, 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 in the not. church. No, 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 no. And it's such a privilege. Not many of you, you don't know the privilege of worshipping Jesus Christ. Some of you claim to have been a Christian. What nonsense. Where are the marks of the nails in your hands and feet? They're not there. They're not there because they never knew the cross. They never knew what it was to be crucified with Christ as the Apostle Paul did. They went back to their vomit. They went back to the wallowing in the mire because they were pigs and dogs. They, don't, they weren't sheep. The sheep follow the shepherd wherever he goes. They're clean. They're clean animals. They're not dirty animals. They don't go back to the world. They don't go back to their wicked ways. They stay in the light and they worship Jesus Christ who said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Jesus Christ, he is the light of the world. Oh, how sad. They love their sin. They love their sin and they went to hell in their sin. But those who love the Lord Jesus Christ will not be in hell. They will not be in everlasting burning. They'll be with the Son of God in heaven forever and ever. We're all brothers. Amen. We're all, we're all brothers.